Hello everyone and welcome to the next part of the Lua Artificial Horizon build series. Now in the last episode we learned how we could go and build this artificial horizon on screen. Now we've got one already in game but it's always cool to have a digital one that you can go and customize and change the settings for. So in the last episode we learned how we could do this and would move around the screen and do a few things. So in this episode we're going to add some more features to it. What I want to do is I want to add the brown underneath there. I also I want to add the blue at the top. And I also add the markings here for where your aircraft is in relevance to the artificial horizon. Okay, so we want to get that little marker on our screen. So we're going to be doing those three things in this video. So definitely keep on watching if you're interested to learn how you could do that. So let's jump straight back into the workbench. Now, first things, as always, guys, this is not meant to be a full on tutorial on math or on Lua. This is just how I'm learning to do it and I want to share my knowledge with you. There might be better ways of doing it or different ways and I might even be doing some things wrong. That's the great thing, I learn as I go on. So without the way, let's carry on building. Now we are working on this base that we built in the last episode or the last part. So if you are trying to follow along, definitely go and check out part one and learn how we did the first part. Now let's carry on and let's go into our mic controller. So we're going to click on confirm and we're going to go straight into our Lua script. So the first thing I want to do is I want to draw our colors. I want to draw the color at the top and the color at the bottom. So I'm going to start by actually defining those colors. So I'm going to have a color here and a color here. So to do that, I'm just going to copy my set color. Why not? Okay, and I have two colors. Now I need one which is going to be blue and I need one that's going to be um, brown. Okay, because that's the colors I want. So you can go and find the RGB values just by going on Google, for example, typing in RGB wheel and then you can choose a color and it'll tell you what the RGB values are. I've already got some RGB values. I'm just going to go and literally stick them in here. Okay, so 94 by 60 by what do we got here? 34. Yeah, cool. And then for blue, we're going to use 40 by 114 by let's see what's the other one 151 cool so those are just some predefined values that i've already got the next thing we want to do is we actually want to draw the colors now you probably think well let's use a rectangle let's put a rectangle at the bottom and a rectangle top now that would be the easiest way to do it however when your screen is rotating rectangles actually aren't rotating with it so in order to use fix that what we're going to use is we're going to use some triangles okay some filled triangles so you can go down you can see we have some filled triangles it obviously draws it with a color and that's why using the filled ones and we're going to go and put two of those in okay so you can see we've got two triangles you can add an extra enter here to separate it out and just make it a little bit easier to read okay so now that we've got our two triangles you can see it's already referencing x1 y1 x2 and y2 which we've already defined over here as points on our circle so that's fine okay but however we are missing x3 and y3 and x3 and y3 over here now to do that we could in theory just tell the system hey go from the center x point and the center x point and then for the blue go negative a thousand or 100 pixels and then for the brown go plus 100 pixels pixels or a thousand pixels for example now we could do that there is an issue when you go and do that and you'll see that in a few seconds if we go and click on done and we click on update and we go and confirm this and test it out, you'll see at first actually it looks like, hey, everything's fine, everything looks pretty good. But the problem is have a look when I bank here. Have a look at how the screen, the brown and the actual blue is going and getting smaller and smaller because our reference points for them, the third part of the triangle that I went and defined is actually here at the bottom of the screen, at the top of the screen. So we want those points to actually rotate as we're rotating the screen so that doesn't happen so to do that you can go back into your controller here and you can click on edit and you can click on confirm when you do that click on your Lewis script go into edit and now we want to define these pieces here so to do that once again we're just going to go and copy exactly the same code as we have here before and we're now going to create a x3 and a y3 Okay, so this is what we're creating just over here this part okay x3 and y3 okay now we can go here and say hey this is x3 this is x3 and this is y3 y3 so it's going to rotate as you rotate the screen the only problem is that this is actually drawing it on the side of the screen we wanted to draw it at the bottom 
Okay, that's our reference point at the bottom like we did earlier on. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the top here and we're going to create something called a T roll, which is going to be referencing our top roll. And we're going to do a B roll, which is going to reference the bottom roll. Okay, the idea here is that we can enter in the same code or the same math here and we can get the top radius, which will be, for example, zero degrees and the bottom, which is 180 degrees. Okay, so zero degrees and 180 degrees. And that will give us our bottom roll and our top roll. So now we can come through here and say, hey, this X3 is going to be for the blue, which is going to be our top roll. And we can go and create another one, which is going to be X4 and Y4. And this one is going to be our bottom roll. And we can go and change it here to X4 and Y4. Okay, so you can see how we're going and doing that. So in theory, we're creating two new points on our circle that is rotating as we roll and as we pitch. Okay, the only difference is instead of it being at 90 degrees, which is on the side, it's now at zero degrees, which is the top, and 180 degrees, which is at the bottom of the circle. We can now go and check that, click on done, and go and update it. Click on confirm, and click on spawn. Now, if we go over to our creation, you can see we've got exactly the same thing, but have a look when we rotate. See how the square stays like that and it doesn't go and disappear off your screen, okay? It's always going to be there because it's rotating. Obviously, you can see if you really push it, you will see a little bit over here um, as we're gonna go up, but you could just increase the size of the circle, okay, you or you the radius if you wanted to. And that brings me on to another topic. One thing that I did miss in the last video is when we were creating the definition of our radius, I went and said, hey, put the W plus the H and divide it by four. The only thing is I forgot to put the brackets in here, which means it wasn't actually calculating the correct radius. It wasn't ever dividing it by four. It was just ignoring that part. Okay, so you need to put these brackets in here. Once you do that, you're going to get your proper size of your screen. So let me just go and update that and I'll show you how it looks now. It's going to look much smaller. See how there we've now got a square on the screen because it's the same size as the screen. OK, can you see that how it's working? Now, one thing I recommend is if you don't want such a small screen, just go in and increase the size of the radius. So we're going to come in and we're actually going to go and get rid of that okay so we're just going to undo it and we're just going to leave it as w plus h now you can make this bigger you can make it smaller it's up to you on what size you want to do that if you're finding that the horizon is not going quick enough or it's going too slowly to get off or on the screen as we learned in the last video you can go and change the value over here when the actual artificial horizon disappears off of your screen at the moment it's set to 90 degrees okay but that's thinking that your screen size is only 64 by 64. of course we here have now told it that it's got a really big radius which is 64 times 4 in theory uh, so it's got a big radius so now we might need to go and update that so let's just go and test it let's go and spawn it in and let's see how quickly it's moving on our screen so you can see there See how that's going a little bit too quick now. See how it's going up and down. So we're going to tell it, hey, when it's maybe at 180 degrees, then we want this to disappear off our screen. So go back in, click into here, go into the controller again, and we're going to update that 90 to let's say 180 degrees. Okay, that means that that's going to line should disappear off our screen when we hit 180 degrees. Let's confirm it, spawn it in, and let's go and check. So there we go. Yep. And now you can see as we hit 180 degrees, it goes in to get rid of it on our screen. Cool. So if you want to get rid of this where you can see that line is kind of just going a little bit below and you can still see there's a little bit of brown above it. What you can do is you can bring this back into the workbench and you can increase the height of that line. Again, that's one option you can do or you can actually decrease the brown, okay? So that brown, which is over here, we can say, hey, your Y, we want you to do plus one, and the Y here, we want you to do two plus one, okay? So we're just adding a extra pixel, so that now, when we go and spawn that in, have a look 
the way that brown is. The brown is going to get shifted down by one line. See there? But now we end up with a little bit of black because nothing is actually getting filled in that space. So now we can tell the blue to go one pixel down also. Okay. So we're just adjusting it and we're just editing it as we want to. So let's go back into our Lewis script and we're going to say, hey, blue line, I want you to go one pixel down and I want you to go one pixel down. Okay. That should once again go and fix that issue for us. We could have, if we really wanted to, we could have gone and told the um, actual white line to go up one, but now you can see that looks perfect. Okay. So you can see the horizon is indicated by the white, brown is the ground and blue is the sky. Okay, cool. So now that we've got that done, let's go and draw our lines that we have. Now these lines actually don't move. They're just static lines on our screen, as you can see here. They're just static lines on your screen. They don't move. So it's relatively easy to go and draw that. Uh, let's start off by going in and drawing some lines. So we're going to jump into here and we're going to go into our Lewis script. So underneath here, which is our white color, remember this is our white. Now we can increase the density of that white, maybe make it like 200 by 200 by 200, make it a little bit more brighter white. Uh, let's go and draw some new lines. So we're going to copy and paste the draw line and we need, let's start with two lines. Okay, we want to create like this, this, we want to create this pattern where it's like a line, then it goes to a V and then it goes to a line. Okay, we want to create something like that. That's what we want on our screen. So in order to do that, we're going to use one line for this part, two lines for the V and one line for this part. Let's start with a V because that's relatively simple. So we're going to start off by going to the center of our screen. So X, so the center is CX and the center is CX. Okay. So we're just gotten the center part of our screen currently at the moment. Okay. Y we're going to do the center Y and the center Y point. However, we're going to plus it by five and we're going to plus it by five. That's going to drop it down to where we have that little V part. Okay. Then what we want to do is we then want to say, Hey, this one is going to go to the left and this one is going to go to the right. So the one on the left, we're going to do CX and we're going to do minus five, or we can actually do minus four here. And then this one, we're going to do CX plus five. Uh, for the Y value, okay, for the Y value, you can just use the center, which is CY, CY and CY. Let's go and have a look and see what that's going to look like. Update it, spawn it in, and let's see. So we're going to jump in our seat and have a look. You've now got the V on your screen. Okay, see how that looks there? Now it is looking a little bit out of sync, so we can probably push that onto a negative five and make it look a little better because it does look a little bit weird okay at the moment okay so to go and fix those things there what we're going to do is we're just going to go and make that a negative five and that way it should now create a lovely nice little v on our screen let's click on done let's go and see what that's going to look like and uh, spawn in jump into our seat and there we go we've got a nice little lovely v shape on our screen and you can see how that's moving as we move our screen around okay which is pretty cool now what we want to do is we want to draw the lines on the left and we're going to draw the lines on the right okay of that so to do that once again just jump straight back into our mic controller go back into the editor going back into the lewis script and now we're going to add two more lines okay so we're going to do draw line and you can actually copy these two lines here there's nothing wrong with copying them because we are going to be using some of the same things okay so we can get rid of this part which is the Y and the Y and get rid of this and this. Okay. So we are still going to use these points. Okay. Only difference is now instead of doing the, um, instead of doing CX minus five, we're going to do, let's say CX minus 25. Okay. Instead. Okay. So we're going to put that in. Let's put this in here. We're going to once again, go and do CY cool CY. And you can see it's exactly the same now from this point to this point, from this point to this point. The only difference is let's go and increase this by let's do 25 and then let's do 25. OK, so we're going from five center of the screen plus five pixels all the way to the center of the screen plus 25 pixels. Same thing here from center minus 25 pixels all the way to the center minus five pixels. Update that again. Confirm update, spawn it in, and let's go and see what those lines look like. Jump in our seats, 
And there we go. We've now got some lines, but hold on. Have a look at this one. This one is actually too far to the left. We need to bring it one more to the right. Okay, that's a relatively easy fix. You can once again jump in here, go into the edit, go into your Lewis script, and then where you've got the negative, make it negative 24 and negative 4 here. That should then go and fix the issue. Update it there. Update it here. Spawn it in. And we should now see our lines on our screen. And there we go. So really cool. We've now got some lines. We've got some colors. And everything is now moving. We don't see any black lines anywhere. Everything works really nicely. Now, I think I'm going to finish it over there for this part. I am going to go into the next video where I'm going to show you how you can add your altitude, how you can add your speed, and you can add your heading onto the screen. Okay, so you can get some very nice little readouts, your speed on the left, altitude on the right, and your heading at the top. Okay, and that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. So definitely keep, up, keep an eye out for the next episode where we're going to do that. And if you don't want to miss the next one, definitely remember to click that subscribe button and that bell icon. And if you have enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And until the next one, we will see you then.